Hey guys on YouTube, I'm the Gamer Tag, and this is my new YouTube channel. So today to start it off, I am going to be playing the Caesar and Gaul DLC campaign for Rome 2 Total War. So let's get this going. Um, I'm playing as the Swiby, a uh, Germanic tribe. Um, I am using some unit pack mods for this for several factions, not just for my own, but for others so I can get more of a challenge out of this. So, you start off with an army in Rarakon. Um, that's actually pretty well, or pretty good for a starting army. I'm gonna um, get two club levy and then one Germanic youth out of that. And then you Burzis, the capital. For some reason, there's nothing there. So, I'm just gonna recruit General. This guy, Rugunth, or whatever his name is, I'm gonna make it a Swordmaster's unit. Um, I'm going to get a couple spear levy and club levy. Now, I'm using all of the radius unit packs. I know that for sure, but I'm not sure what else um, I've got. Alright, so I need to see how much this thing is. 2,500. Uh, I can get that next turn. So I'm just going to get these cattle pens or this. Yeah, I'm going to go with reservoir. Alright. So now let's assign a technology, let's do land management, and let's check diplomacy. Um, if you guys do recognize my voice, if you were viewers on YouTube, um, a couple years back I had a YouTube channel called Nashfix21, and um, I... Uh, actually had a 200,000 plus views on my videos so I was actually really surprised by that so um, I thought I was really stupid for shutting down that YouTube channel and so did my friends so I guess I decided to start this up finally um, and I figured the best thing to start with would be the Caesar and Gold DLC um, so yeah let's get this going um, dang Alright, so I know I'm at war with the Sequani starting out. They're right beside this territory. Um, I'm going to focus my opening offensive against them. But usually my allies here, the Nemantes, end up at war also with this tribe, the Me Medio Matricii. So um, I'm going to be also getting involved with that, and um, hopefully I can defeat them. And usually, down here where the Helvetia are, Rome starts off right under them, and they usually take Helvetia out in the first five turns, so I'm going to watch out for Rome. Um, my overall main strategy is I'm going to... I'm going to conquer the tribes to start off at war with, but my main goal is going to be to push north, uh, up north, down south. I know it will probably be a, pretty much a lost cause because of the Romans. Um, I'm going to try and keep good relations with them um, as long as I can, but eventually, once I am powerful enough, my main goal will be to um, probably cut off Rome, uh, the Roman territories here, cut them off from their one in Narbonessus and keep them from expanding, but that's a while away, so let's get this going. This turn will not be as long as most of my other ones, and this one's not going to have a battle, simply because I'm kind of busy at the moment, so I'm not really able to do too much, but I did want to get in part one, um, today at least, so let's end this turn but I should have just taken a break. I shouldn't have shut it down. Um, but, yeah. Now I'm going to try and keep this going for a really long time, as long as I can keep it going. I kept um, my YouTube channel before that I had for, I believe, two years, and then um, I shut it down, and that was a year and a half to two years ago. All right, so my ally, um, the gr Wow, damn, Treverii. Damn it. Gonna have to go to war against the damn Treveria and their annoying clan is hell to beat. Alright. Okay. Um. 
and I also hope in the future to be um, getting some um, let's plays for you guys on the console systems. Um, I can't guarantee it, but I'm hoping. Um, so, uh, yeah, not much there, but um, what do we got? Germanic youths. I definitely. I'm going to get a spear levy there. So for this, for what I'm going to, I'm going to send these guys to fight the Sequani tribe. Um, I'm definitely going to get some mercenaries. If you, my system, how I usually do things is I recruit lots of mercenaries. Um, and then I get rid of them once um, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, I can deal with 1,271 a turn. The Sequani tribe is a tribe I really want to take out because they're going to be a pain in my butt if I can't take them out. I'm going to build another army here. I'm going to get this guy, and I'm going to make him a cav unit. I definitely need a heavy cav core in my army. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I need to upgrade that, but I'm my Modena's spears, if I can um, get that building there, the sacred grove, the sacred grove of Wodenaz, and sorry if I pronounce anything wrong, I just don't know the names too well. Alright. Um, Sinoni, Sequani, Traverii, Viviski, Volke, Oski, Sotiates, Arbelli, and all these other tribes. Um, this has several new tribes. I believe they're probably going to release several of these as DLC factions later on. I would bet it would either be Belge, Bellavachi, or um, some of the... Um, well, I don't really know all the tribes, but I do know the ones who are major ones at least. Alright. Um, Tribal Confederation, the Helvetii created a confederation, probably to fend off against Rome. Is this Rome here? I believe so. Um, or is that my territory? Yeah, it's just my territory. Alright. Faction encountered Rome, yes. I want to get good relations with Rome. Um, let's see what I can do with Rome. Okay. Rome is going to be a pain, especially since I'm also using Unipack that gives them new units. Military access, no. no. Dang it. They just don't simply like me, or I'm just too not strong enough at this point to get them to agree to anything. But um, let's take this army over to Sequani territory. It is not impossible. It's very possible. All right. I know that I do out heavily outnumber them here, um, but I also have to think of the garrison force that's going to spawn once I attack. Um, let's start recruiting some more troops in Narakon. Going to get some of those, and I'm going to have to watch up there for whatever's going to come my way. Um, I'm going to have just that many javelins in my army because they can be a pain. But, yeah, um, I know it seems that I'm going bad, um, this campaign's going bad, but it's just because I have the mercenaries in my army. I will get rid of them as soon as I'm done taking out the Sequani. And, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys for part two next time. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, guys.